A patient that comes to Mayo Clinic for hip pain is going to uh, find a lot of advances that they might not find in other places. We actually have a young adult hip clinic. Really a multifaceted care team that's all passionate about improving hip function. For young patients and all patients of any age. So we start with non-operative management, physical therapy, injections. We'll always try non-operative treatments that have documented success before jumping into the operating room. We have hip impingement, which is abnormal collision between the ball and the socket. And then we remove the femoral acetabular impingement extra bone from either side and repair the labrum, the suction cup, at the same time. And thereby, hopefully, delay that arthritis and hip replacement to a later date. At times, we will combine the surgeries. We'll do the hip arthroscopy portion of the case and then in the same anesthetic, the open hip surgeons, they will come in and do the corrective bony work. We can have something called hip dysplasia, where that's under coverage of the socket or a shallow socket. If we can recognize and treat that structural issue, the goal then is to prevent further secondary damage of the hip, so damage to the labrum. The people that have tears in the suction cup, the labrum, that are deemed irreparable, we can now take tissue and replace the labrum, called the labral reconstruction. We've developed specific low radiation CT scans. It allows us to actually uh, reconstruct a three-dimensional recreation to look individually at this patient's area of impingement. And that helps us plan, in this case, for this patient's uh, surgery. When I met Michael, he was a former high-level uh, Division I college basketball player. The shift from high school basketball to college, overall my joints took a good beating. But I don't think he really um, understood that he had underlying hip impingement. Patches of my hip joint was bone on bone. It all makes sense why I was having hip pain. Fortunately, we were able to treat the impingement in both of his hips. So that involves making three little port sites around each hip. It required a general anesthetic, same day procedure. Remove the impinging bone, uh, repair the labrum, so he quite literally shaved this bony crest off of my femur. And with our therapist and a motivated patient, he was able to optimize and achieve his outcome. Since that recovery time, I am pain free. And he said, I, I reached my goal. I was able to dunk a basketball again. That was a big moment for me. Back on the court, 100% pain free lifestyle. I just can't emphasize enough how grateful I am to Dr. Critch and the team.